What's up guys, Broscope here, and today we're back with day, day 9, I want to say, of Inktober. And uh, today, I'll be drawing a spider. And what I was going to do with the spider, and what I am doing with the spider, is drawing a original character. Uh, it's going to be a spider woman, and then it's not going to be like Spider-Man, but it's going to be half spider, half woman. When you cut it off, right below, right around your hips area of course um, there's a couple of things that I could have done to this piece uh, and especially let me talk about design first now I had a couple of ideas about what to do with the spider uh, I also had a couple of things that I could choose from now first I had some sketches that were well first you had this kind of sketch that I had then you had a cute actual spider then you had uh, a person spider which is a spider but instead of looking like a spider it looks like a person with eight arms and a giant butt now the reason I didn't do this is because I didn't feel like posting it on the internet yet I'm not at that level maybe I should someday anyway um, I also had to make a choice about uh, the amount of limbs this spider should have of course spiders have eight limbs but i've seen well there's, there's not that many uh, i didn't I, when i searched spider girl on the, on the internet you know that's on my list now that's on my history um i did take a good look at what i could find there wasn't that much but the thing i was contemplating is should i give it eight spider legs and two arms or three spider legs and two arms and eventually I came to the decision to use the latter uh, because having in total eight limbs seemed like it was something I was going to go for now there's another thing that would have been with uh, spiders have only two body parts let's say you have the behind and you have the main body uh, bugs have three of these, they have the behind, they have the middle part, and they have the head. Now normally the head is stuck on the middle part, uh, but now you also have the human uh, midriff and whatever, everything above the waist that c sticks out of it. Um, I did this because I thought it looked better, and also because I didn't want to paste a face on that black dot. I think if you want to make something really creepy, that that's the way to go. Uh, there's also ways to make a very, very spider-like human. Like uh, lots of hairs, so not any kind of prettiness. Uh, but those are all design choices I made. I like the outcome, uh, I like what I did. Um, what I am thinking, what I thought of by creating this character, so not only design, this, will, this would be a teacher at a monster academy which i am uh currently drawing a couple of original characters for maybe you'll see one in inktober again otherwise it'll be posted after or afterwards um and this character is kind of iffy if i will use it because i'm still thinking about the whole premise is it a hit i want to make it a hidden academy Kind of Harry Potter style, so like the usual world doesn't know about it. But then you'd think about what do these kind of characters do they live with humans or do they not? Uh, I want it to be quite light-hearted, I guess. I'm not sure yet. Maybe quote-unquote light-hearted, like no, there's no a lot of gore, but things that needs to eat human or whatever. I'm still working it out and just creating some characters that I like. So I says I really like the design. I do want to use it. But I'll have to think about the setting first before actually making that decision. Um, anyway, teacher uh, wearing a, you know, a what's it called? A normal t-shirt, button-up t-shirt with a tie. Um, likes knitting. I, I thought it would be funny for a spider. And it's very original, I know. Um, which she used in her hair just to take a lot of hair out of her face because of the eight eyes she has, because spiders have eight eyes, I think, I hope, if they have less than I, I messed up, but you know, whatever. Um, 
Yeah, I did make two quote unquote variants. Uh, one is pretty much a grayscale and a screen toned one, and the other is colored. Now the colored one isn't that detailed, but I think it, it looks decent. Uh, it since it's an original character, I'll probably come back to it because I do like it, even if I wouldn't. Uh, user in my uh, future comics then I'd probably still do another piece with this character because it's just I like it it's not a overly sexual character too it's really it's feminine because it's quite slender uh, it has a small chest she has a small chest and I kind of really like that because I, I don't know it it it's not like it's cut it it just has some sex appeal but it's definitely not a major part of it. Now, you, I might say that it's a fetish because it's a teacher, and I'd say, fuck off, that's just... Teachers aren't automatically sexy. <sighs> uh, do we have anything else to add? Talking personality-wise, I'd think that it wouldn't be a terribly uh, bad person uh, in the monster universe, let's say that. And... She would be quite quite strict, uh, but you know, not nice. So she could uh, let you off the hook once in a while. But if you really fuck up, that you your detention would be hanging from the ceiling, uh, head towards the floor in spider web. You know that would be terrible and terrifying, even for other monsters. Because who likes hanging upside down except for bats? But vampires and such. But you know, that's all. That's all lore that I'll need to work out. Anyway. Uh, I hope you enjoy this drawing, or you like this drawing. Uh, I certainly do, I did like making it. Uh, it took me... How long did it take me? Like... Maybe maximum of two hours? I'm not sure, it'll be in the description. Uh, I'm not counting... Design aspects, because I do that before I start drawing. Most of the time, I, well, I didn't design the entire thing. I had the base character model sketched. I had the base face sketch, which became a little bit more um, angular, let's say. I had a very round face, which would be better on a childlike character. So I'm kind of happy with changing it up, doing a little uh, slimmer face. Really gives her a more adult look, and I'm pretty really happy with that. Uh, anyway. That's pretty much all I have to say. So yeah, comment down below if you like this drawing, why you like this drawing, if you want to. And if you want to criticize it, you're also free to do that. Uh, please leave a like, uh, subscribe if you want to keep updated with my videos. In October will, this entire October will be at least one video a day, so you know, you can see what I do. And yeah, you can check out my Twitter and DeviantArt, and that's all I have to say really. It, I think I... Uh, spoke a lot today oh dear god that's eight minutes of me talking well i guess that will be the video for today and i'll see you guys later bye